This video is about wayfinding. There's two types of wayfinding on the Concept 3D map. There are uh, the nodes that we create, and there's the nodes that we can pull from outside data sources. And I'll show you those nodes. When I do a get directions and I do a drop pins, if I drop it on the map somewhere, it's going to show me the path. It's the closest node to wherever I drop my pin. And that is the walking directions. If I go back to the CMS, click on routes, and I do, I could click on all, or I could click on selective, and that's a little bit easier on your system sometimes. It's going to show you all the routes, and you can move these routes, and you can add these routes, and that is what you see right here. You see the route. Now, when I move this pin outside over here, it kind of asks, you're going to use a different database. And this line right there is being pulled from outside sources. If you look uh, down here, directions provided by a map box in OpenStreetMap. So it just kind of gives you that, hey, you're using outside directions. When I'm on campus and I put that pin, say like here, and go maybe over here, you'll notice it's on the sidewalk right there. But as soon as I click on Let's see here, let's go back here. If I click on driving directions right here, and then I drop my pins. So if I'm like right here, right there, that route is not on our, our platform right here. So if I just look at uh, this building right here, go selective again, and go like here. You can see the route is only on the sidewalk. So we create routes only for pedestrians those routes can connect. Um, for example, if I do walking directions and I am just on campus here, so like say I want to get to this building right here. It's going to take me on the sidewalk. Those are all of our routes on the CMS. These are every single route is ours. As soon as you pull it outside over here, it's going to say, hey, you want to use external? Sure. So. Now it's doing a combination between our route and the driving route. So it's doing the driving directions, but then it will connect to, so if I go to the quad, it will connect to our route. So right here, so this is outside information, comes down here. There's a point where it jumps to the sidewalk right there. And if I go look at that one over here, and I do your routes, selective, and I'll just right there. Um, so we have these parking nodes right here. Um, but what it is looking at is it's stopping at the external directions are stopping at our point right there. And then they're going on the sidewalk. And I'll show you. I'll move that point. Say if I move that point like south down here, then this would stop there and then go go up to the sidewalk. But this route is not on our backend system, um, even though it does kind of look like it's, you know, kind of there, but those are just kind of our walking directions routes so that the user could walk from the parking lot. So if I put like in the parking lot right here, these are all the, uh, the parking lot routes right here, but it does not, um, does not go into this the road down that was a lot of talk about two different types of systems um, and it, if you want them to talk to each other sometimes you kind of have to move things around a little bit so for example if I search for location H period a so like this guy right here and I want to go to Tucker T U C K Tucker okay and get directions Okay, um, I like that route. That's a that's my walking direction route, and the first node, or actually this node right here where the A is. If I go look at what is going on there, I forget which one it is. It's one of these. I'm on the uh, back end CMS again, so it's that point right there on the building. You can see that point, and then if I look at routes, it's pulling it from that exact point right below, you know, right there. So you can see um, that's the first point of the route. And it just looks for this location and it says, what's the, f the closest point to that? Um, and then give me a route. 
Now when I do driving directions, it routes me to the left. And if I want to go route to the right, then I have to move this marker over. So if I move this marker over, you can see it's still to the left. If I go in the extreme, like over here, now it's going to the right because the next closest node is right there in the middle. Um, and so it is kind of a moving the marker around um, because you have a kind of a distance between these nodes. We don't have control over these nodes because these are outside um, the CMS because this is a third party driving directions. But if you move this marker, say if we put this marker maybe down there on the stairs, that's going to work. If you put it up there, that looks like it works. So um, if we put it there, it does not work. You know, right there it works. So you could you could move the marker, and that would that would do the trick. So if I move this marker to right here, which if it solves you know the driving directions. Um, then I would just say move the marker. You can still see from the front end. When I turn that one on, I think. Just let it refresh here real quick. I always forget the housing. Yep. Um, you can still see, like, there's like a pin on top of that building, so it's pretty easy to, you know, say, oh, that pin belongs to that building. So we'll click on that pin, driving directions, uh, flip this, go to Tucker. get directions, go to driving, and you can see now it goes to the right. And so that's what's really going on. Um, if you don't like a particular route, then you do have to move the marker. Um, and Because I'm just doing strictly driving directions right now. I'm not doing, um, you know, when you're outside of campus and you're coming in, it will do the driving directions to walking directions. So if I move this marker over here. Let's see here. It's probably going to be mad at me because I'm still. Let's clear this real quick here. I'll just drop some pins. Uh, drop some pins. Let's just go back in there. Quick little refresh and drop some pins. So, drop some pins. And if I do like driving directions, you know, again, we can kind of see, we can play around with this right here. If I want to go here, it is, uh, let's go out here and then go into here. So it's just pulling uh, the driving directions because I clicked on the driving directions. Um, now, if I want driving plus walking, then saying, hey, I'm using the driving directions way out here, plus walking. Um, so I'm driving down this road, and then I'm just, you know, walking up here. So it's a long video, but it does, uh, it's hard to kind of see that, you know, the behind the scenes, you know, we have nodes, you know, we've got all of these nodes, but there's a whole bunch of nodes that you cannot see because it's all this um, third-party data nodes back here. And it's just going to pick the shortest route between two points um, between the nodes. You'll notice we do not have any pathways on the road. Um, and as soon as you check the give me driving directions, it's going to look to that external uh, data. So it's always going to look to, um, you know, not our nodes. Um, I know there's a couple more. Maybe I'll, I'll do one more quick little example here. So here's one more example. Um, driving directions uh, from point A comes up. It tells you to park right here. And this that parking spot is where the external powered by Mapbox, OpenStreetMap nodes end. And then our nodes start right here. So this other node is our node on the map. So it says park here and then walk over there. Now, if you want to tell the user to go over to the circle roundabout, um, it probably has to do with the location of the this letter B right here, which is probably going to be pretty tricky to say don't go over there if I even move my parking. So um, let's just try by 
refreshing the map, doing it one more time, doing uh, drop some pins because it's a little bit easier just to drop pins. So we'll drop two pins here. We'll go from that spot to, I believe it's about right there. And you can tell where you can tell where it's at because it's right in the middle at that, that point. So if I say the car, now as soon as I move this over here, so it just has to be moved to the front of the building. It looks like it would work out. So if I go back to the map and go back to that building, and I believe it's uh, this guy right here. Edit that one. Let's put them at the beginning, like, you know, the front door. That should be fine. Save. Go here, refresh. Directions. Put this guy in all directions. Tucker. And you can see it this time it tells you so what it does is it looks for the closest parking node on our system so it comes up here you know it swings it stops right there and then it says where's the closest parking node on the concept 3d map um, platform so if i look at the routes again here selective and you can see that is the closest parking node right there to where that route kind of ends so it says you know drive up here park there and then walk this way. So hopefully that helped a little bit. Um, thanks for watching.